Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamea's promo and today is August 5th and Samsung just launched the latest software update today for the Galaxy Note 20. So I took a look at the Galaxy S21 Ultra, I took a look at the Galaxy Z Fold 2 and I did not see any updates or security patches for August just yet. But here it is for the Galaxy Note 20, it is pretty small. We're still going to try to take a look to see what is new, if there's newer versions of applications or services. The version ends in DUG1 and it's 200. 65 megabytes. Now people always ask what phone is this? So yes, I'm here in the United States. This is a unlocked phone from samsung.com with the AT&T SIM card built in. So all we're going to do is we're going to go through, we're going to install it. If you don't know where to install, you just go inside your settings, go to the very bottom about phone and you go to update software. Now this is usually at this point in the video that I like to state that if you're brand new here at the channel of Jimmy's promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information and the latest updates for your Samsung Galaxy devices, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. Now once this thing does turn on, we will be taking a look at Samsung Home. We'll take a look at the camera, messages, gallery, fingerprint reader, and face recognition as well as the Galaxy Store to see if there's anything new sitting inside. So the update is done and complete. So now all we're going to do is we're going to take a look at home, camera, messages, gallery, fingerprint reader, face recognition, as well as Samsung Galaxy Store. So the first one we'll take a look at will be home. And to take a look at this, you just press and hold anywhere on the home. You're going to go inside of the settings. Then we're going to go all the way to the bottom. The original version we had before the update was 121077. So it looks like this one is going to be the exact same version. Now let's head inside of the camera. And again, you just want to press and hold on camera. Go inside of the information on the top right. We're going to go to the bottom. Before the update, it was 100297. 100297. So it looks like it's the same version of camera. So now let's take a look at messages. Inside of messages, the original version was 121511. This is 121511. So again, the exact same version. Now let's take a look inside of the gallery. Uh, this one before the update was 121075. 121075. Now we're going to take a look at the fingerprint reader, face recognition. We're going to go inside the settings, go to biometrics and security. We're going to go inside of more biometrics and so inside of here. For the fingerprint, it was 5101. So it looks like it's the same here, 5101. And then face recognition was 20113, 20113. So it looks like none of these are brand new, but it, again, it is very important for you to go inside of the Samsung Galaxy Store because inside of the Galaxy Store, sometimes these little updates might even bring, uh, you know, some, some newer things when it comes down to newer versions of applications. So up here, you can see that there's eight updates. Uh, so I don't know when all of these came. So here's a newer version of the Samsung Gallery. Originally, it looks like it does not come through with this latest update, but it does come through inside of the Galaxy Store. So you can see here, this one was pushed off on August 2nd. So let's just go through, let's update that one. We also have Clock, and this one was updated again on August 2nd, so just a few days ago. Samsung Keyboard. This one was updated on uh, August 2nd. So it looks like a lot of things was happening on August 2nd. Uh, link sharing. This one's actually pretty fun. If you have not played with it, I definitely play with it. Uh, July 29th. And then I believe the Samsung members one might be something new. I knew that there's supposed to be a newer version coming out. So here it is for August 5th. So now we're going to hit on update. And then you can pretty much do the same thing for all the rest of these. Again, very important to go through. Uh, you know, the Galaxy Store just to see if there is anything new, which there is. A couple of them that we took a look at here was actually what I took a look at, you know, during today's video. So there is your little update. It was pushed off for the Galaxy Note 20. We did not see it yet for the Galaxy S21 Ultra or the Galaxy Z Fold 2, but those ones should be coming in very, very soon. But I hope you guys appreciated this video. And if you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.